podcast if you're joining us for the first time we welcome you if you're not joining us for the first time we still welcome you because we just love everyone and we're just gonna welcome you all um today i'm not alone i'm here with the amazing the fantabulous <laughs> nyeleti baloi introduce yourself first. hello everyone my name is nyeleti baloi as katekile said today we'll be co-hosting the session as you can see we are celebrating heritage month we are dressed in our beautiful beads don't forget september is heritage month we should embrace our cultures you should embrace our languages you know so let's please celebrate it is heritage month let's not forget where we come from let us not forget our cultures yes so today we have a jam packed episode for you guys this is no ordinary episode we're talking we're going to be recapping every single thing we've done ever since gfg went live and that's not the best part we have a kahoot game for you guys at the end of this live video and we just can't wait honestly speaking i'm i'm sitting on my seat and i just cannot wait um as i've already mentioned we're gonna be um talking about everything that we have um had ever since lockdown began we're talking from the career guidances to the general self-help um sessions that we've had yeah Yes, friends, that is what we're going to be talking about and so much more. But before we get into it, we'd just like to take this opportunity to thank our senior pastor, Pastor Jolene, and our general overseer, Pastor Strike, for giving us this opportunity to come before you. They have also sponsored the amazing package that you may win when you win the Kahoot session. So stay tuned, follow the instructions because there is so much to be won in today's session. So as Katekile said, we're recapping on all the sessions that we've had, starting from Mrs. Is Baloi's first session with GFG online, moving on to the career guidance, the study skills, and the anxiety and depression topics. So please keep your mind tuned on to what we're talking about today. We'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Please, the Kahoot session is based on all the sessions that we've had in the past few weeks. So use this advantage as you're logged on to listen to what we have to say. It may just be a clue for the Kahoot session. Yes, and on that note, guys, don't forget it's a live video, so comment. So comment, tell us everything, ask us questions. We are more than happy to answer them. Guys, it's a live video. We're interacting with you guys. We're here, we're talking, we're discussing. Today is not the formal sessions you guys are used to. We're going to be discussing and talking and you guys are also allowed to give an input and we're going to be discussing it. We're not going to overlook it. We're going to give it attention. That's right. So the first thing that we want to talk about is just all the sessions, you know, your favorite sessions. I know there are so many to choose from and personally for me, it was really hard to decide which is actually my favorite. So in the comment sections, friends, please tell us which was your favorite session of all the GFG sessions that we had and please tell us why. We want to read your comments, so please do leave your comments. But Katekile, maybe you're going to be much faster than me in deciding which is your favorite. What was your favorite session of all the there GFG is, sessions you posted? There is no speed that can help you in deciding this decision, guys. It is hard. <laughs> you know, every single Saturday you're being blessed and it's just blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings and it just doesn't stop. But I have to say, my favorite one was under Korea Guidance and it had to be the media one with um, Les Soho and Mr. Uh, James, James Shikwamban. Like, honestly speaking, because um, my career choice has to go with media and it was just so nice to just sit there with my mom and watch it with her and be like, you see, it's not that bad because honestly, I feel like we choose career paths based on what we think we know and parents also influence our career paths based on what they think they know but then sometimes it's good to have an expert tell you what it is and for those reasons that's why i just enjoyed that specific episode what about you which was your favorite oh, so many episodes to choose from <laughs> but i think my favorite was the session that mrs baloi hosted on your, the company you keep defines you. I think as young people, we often forget that the company we keep does truly define us. We decide to be friends with the people we feel are in and, you know, cool at the time. But you forget that your company, you know, bad company corrupts good character. And I remember when I first went to university in my first year, someone said to me that 
all the friends that you make today may very well be the 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 connections that you have in the future so i sat down and i thought of it i'm like okay so you mean all the friends that i have in my first year are possibly the connections i'll have when i'm 30 when i'm in need of someone who is specialized in a specific field it is those connections that i'm going to go back to so sometimes you really need to sit down and think the type of people that you surround yourself with are they truly people that are adding value into your life are they truly people that are enriching you or are they people you're going to have connections behind jail cells because you know people who have been mixed up with the wrong crowd so i think it's very important and also knowing that the company you keep is people that share the same values as you people who are spirit-led who believe in christ because all these things really go into influencing the type of person you become the type of character you begin to develop so i think that was my favorite session yeah and on t- adding on to that guys we have to admit there is no better company than the company of children of god honestly speaking i cannot have company no matter how academically uplifting it is if it doesn't feed my spiritual needs i do not want that interaction and i feel like that's a mentality that us as children of god and as fellow gfgs should have now um you also mentioned the fact that um pastor sorry mama rulani was one of the people talking why don't you tell us more about the other episodes that we're having um so the session by mrs rulani baloy was one of the very first few episodes that we've had don't forget this may be a tip for the kahoot don't you forget and other people that we had we had sessions on culinary school by you know one of our chefs and we also had a session on architecture. We had sections on uh, sessions on engineering. So there have been so many things, and I think it was just so enriching to sit down and hear about all these things. You know, I've chosen my career path, but you know, it was really enriching to hear about other people. And it was not only beneficial for high school students, but also university students. I learned so much about ethics from Mr. Terimieni, and I was like, wow, this is such great things that. As, as practitioners even don't even know you know you'd go to a shop and you'd get such bad customer service and you're like don't these people know that your service speaks for you but it's because we are not knowledgeable and i think you know the sessions have been so great they've been so amazing right. mm. i think for me the one lesson that i learned is why there's actually load shedding where mr raya then explained to us that hey you cannot feed many people with only one loaf of bread sometimes you have to buy another loaf mm-hmm. and that's how it is with electricity if there isn't enough they just have to cut it off guys i mean i used to see it go down i'm like ah escom but why <laughs> but why and then i think just watching that made me understand what mm-hmm. exactly is going on behind the scenes mm-hmm. um we have voice notes from our fellow gfgs and they're going to be telling us how the whole entire lockdown live broadcast has helped them. Hello, my name is Musa Mangani and I wanted to say that the online services that our church has been having have affected me really positively. Hello, my name is Musa Mangani and I wanted to say that the online services that our church has been having have affected me really positively because they've helped me to stay in touch with God and they've also helped me to try and figure out what career path I want to choose through the GFG career development and I think overall it was a good decision for us to start the online services because I'm sure it encouraged a lot of people. Musa spoke about how it is such a good thing that we've had these online services and you know speaking of that just really makes me appreciate our pastors appreciate the team that does all this amazing work for us you know the media team the the, the sound team our pastors who have made this beautiful studio Studios. for us it is just so amazing and we just really love to say thank you to all of you who have done this honestly speaking because when lockdown came we all we all thought that a lot of things were going to switch off for us including youth we did not Mm. know or even anticipate the fact that we were going to be having live videos and the fact that we do is a blessing honestly speaking and just to thank you guys once more thank you so much to our pastors our gfg leaders 
and our GFG hosts, each and every one of them have been doing a spectacular job. Yeah. And we just thank you guys. Without you guys, it's impossible. And obviously thanking our viewers because without you guys, I mean, what are we doing if not reaching out to you guys? So thank you so much for just watching us. It means a lot. Katakile, we have a comment from one of our viewers telling us what their favorite session was. So I'm going to read it to us. My favorite session was the one we had last week. It was a breath of fresh air that we finally could have this important conversation about mental health among the youth and on a platform like this. We'd never done it on a scale like last week's. It was greatly educational and impactful. It will stay with me for a very long time. That is amazing, especially because mental health is a very important discussion. I mean, mental health affects everything. It affects how you think, what you do, your actions, and so forth. And if your mental health is not in the correct place, then honestly, there's a lot that stops and goes to a halt. So, yes, I agree with her. It was amazing. I watched it. I was writing notes. I had my Bible. I even watched it even after the actual live video and I went back and I was like, no, it might have been one or two things I might have missed and I wrote down even more notes and it's amazing, honestly speaking, because there are so many clinical views to all of this, but sometimes it is a good thing to hear it from both a clinical and spiritual perspective, mm. you know, mm. and you know how to fight it as a child of God instead of a child of society or a child of um, any clinical terms. Mm. So it was amazing. Yeah. That's right. Thank you so much for watching and for asking your question. Don't forget and making your comments. Don't forget, friends, you can comment what was your favorite session of all the sessions that we've had today. We will continue with yet another voice note of our youth telling us how exactly these sessions were impactful to them. My name is Wukosu Baloi. Uh, the online sessions have helped a lot through the career, career guidance services. I've been able to look at what careers I could possibly do in the future and what subjects that they need and how, how we go about in those careers. Thank you. That is an important note. I think we all make subject choices, but we don't really consider what um, what could um, what career paths you can take with those subjects. I remember I didn't know that law didn't need um, maths core until I saw um, the few GFT sessions, and I realized, oh wait, law doesn't need maths core, mm -hmm. and I I was surprised. And it's, it's certain things there are so many discoveries that. Um, you find on your own when you're doing your own research but there's even those small details that do mean a lot when you hear it from an expert themselves i think it makes all the difference and you just know what you're getting yourself into so yeah and more than that i think a lot of us choose our subjects i remember myself when i sat down i was like i like natural sciences so i can probably do physics yeah. i can do life sciences <laughs> you know i was like i love writing i love reading so i'm going to do history and you know we choose these subjects based on what we want, but we don't think about the future. We don't think about, it's not only about the subjects you choose in high school. You need to consider how these subjects link up to what you want to do, but you also need to take into consideration how you like the subject. So just trying to balance, you know, what I want to be in the future, what I like. It is sometimes so hard and sometimes we really do need an expert to sit down and tell us that, okay, in the field you may not like maths, but if you want to do this, you're definitely going to need maths. You're going to be using it even as you practice. And such things are so important. I think I learned so much for that. And even if it's not for myself, but for other people, you know, we have siblings. So if you were in university, you learn so much about other careers that if another child came to ask you and said, I want to learn about electrical engineering. You can be able to tell them that you can go to a university, you can go to a university of technology. All these things lead up to you being an electrical engineer. And these sessions taught us exactly that and just how even if you go to a university of technology, you can do your BTEC and, you know, put yourself on the same playing field as someone who has gone to university. This was something we were taught by Mr. Ron Raidani and it was just so amazing to learn all these things. Yeah, I think there's just a very fine line between a hobby and a career. And sometimes you just have to learn how to combine the two and serve God and make money and provide for your family 
with your hobby but making it more of a career and um with that said there's another voice note from another fellow gfg and we're just gonna listen to that hi my name is mkate komangani and i would like to say online classes have helped a lot mainly with you know uh career paths and you know explaining and like now we understand what most careers are about and you know uh got to learn about anxiety and depression and you know all of this happened you know at the comfort of our homes and yeah um that was most convenient you know just as you were saying it wasn't just normal career guidance where someone sits here and says to be a lawyer you need english you need history you need it wasn't yeah. like that you know yeah. you got to hear from a professional they give you the entire Insights. view of the entire package you know yeah. i loved how mr james chukwambani taught us about media studies you know he told us you can do this you can do that you, know, you could see the passion in him and it is so amazing to hear about careers from people who are passionate you know it's like right now in the current period we couldn't get the opportunity to job shadow you know for those really choosing their careers right now i know in grade 11 a lot of people prefer to job shadow so they know what they want to apply for and because these opportunities were not here we had professionals who could sit and tell us exactly what it looks like in their day of work and this was just beautiful it was amazing it allowed me even to sit and be like did i really want to do law exactly. you know am i sure so <laughs> it was just really amazing you know i feel like most people choose their career career paths based on research and what they are told and which, which one makes more money but it does make the difference when you're told how it is in the workspace that way you know what you're getting yourself into and you know what you're choosing to do on a daily basis because this is something you're going to be doing every single day mm -hmm. except for your weekends okay some jobs you're going to be working on the weekend too so hey sh you do have to choose wisely you have to choose something that you're passionate about instead of making money you're also enjoying yourself throughout your career so i feel like it was important for us to have this whole career guidance because i feel like so many people were choosing based on research and statistics and money and so forth it is good to know that you're choosing under the influence of an expert who's mm -hmm. in the field and who will tell you what it's like with passion and not with um, this formal talk and so forth. So it was amazing. I, I, I won't lie. I, I enjoyed it personally. And again, I enjoyed the media one personally because <laughs> that is my baby. That is my um, whole um, field. That's what I love. That's what I'm passionate about. Friends, let's not forget... Um, most of the guests that we hosted on our sessions were people from within the church and most of them availed themselves to us that if you ever need any more information if ever you're unsure you can contact them so if you feel you want to get into contact with one of the people that we hosted please do reach out to our leaders they will be able to give you the correct details but Katekile, we have yet another comment on their favorite session that we've had okay this is from one of our viewers and they say it's difficult to choose but my favorite career session was with Rolivua Ron Raidani about electrical engineering for obvious reasons he's an electrical engineer the person that commented this oh, so we see you we see you we see what you did there but honestly everyone is hyped up about that specific episode like I said guys it was amazing to find out that you guys have to look at load shedding as just a loaf of bread being destroyed to a family if there isn't enough bread then sometimes they're gonna have to cut it off and yeah i can and i can relate to what the person is saying it was an interesting topic and yeah so much to be learned now we're going to be listening to yet another voice note by one of our gfg good day everyone my name is bless mukwen i've benefited a lot from gfg sessions I've learned of different careers such as chef, agriculture, journalism, and many more. I've also learned about peer pressure and substance abuse. Thank you. It was an interesting thing to hear him mention chefs. Because I used to think that cooking is just as easy as going to Food Network or YouTube and then learning a few videos. 
but guys cooking is actually an art further than just a video this styling that goes into culinary and i didn't know that i honestly i just thought you get spices vegetables meat starch and you just put it all in one pot but it's not like that so true there's so much more to that and i think the session was very useful because culinary education is one of the very underlooked thing especially amongst black society you know if i were to tell most people if they were to tell my parents i want to be a chef they'll say you don't even cook at home start by cooking at home <laughs> you know <laughs> and it was so great to see that someone is actually making money out of it someone showing us that there's actually a career that you can mm. follow it is validated and if those are your passions please look at the session see what he has to say and you know then you can go on to make something of yourself you can actually become a big shot it doesn't matter if you study accounting or you study something in the culinary field you when there's passion there is a way to make something out of yourself mm, and you know there's many events guys let's not lie who doesn't like food i mean i could call anyone just for a weekend just to order food culinary can go far i know if if there's enough people like me who just really die for food then i know that you guys will definitely love culinary true true like pastor strike says the stomach always needs food your stomach cannot be replaced by a robot that will decide i'm not gonna eat you need food so that career is definitely sustained let's move on to yet another voice note by one of our gfgs the gfg sessions have made me realize that there's so much more to life uh, from the career guidance sessions i learned that there are so many careers out there and you know they they there's literally anything for anyone you know you just have to be interested and passionate about one of the careers and then you just follow it and nothing is impossible and there are so many people out there willing to help you know so that you can reach your goals and and achieve you know all that you, you you strive to to achieve in life and i also learned that you know there there is so much i wasn't aware of with regards to mental health and i would always tell myself that you know i i, I don't even have a problem mentally but then the 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 the, the sessions about mental health made me realize that there's so much that is happening in my mind and I might not be aware of it but then you know I have to be careful and cautious of you know all that goes on in my mind so that I can you know uh, pick up all the changes and be able to to get to get help daily so overall the the GFG sessions have been empowering you know they've been uh, reminding me that i'm not alone you know there are so many people out there who you know are a part of this journey that i'm working and we need to take the journey together so that we can reach our destination thank you wow what an inspirational mouthful said i have to agree with him on one thing where he said um it when you watch certain when you watch the anxiety and depression session it makes you aware of things that even you didn't know not only for yourself but for people around you because sometimes you see the symptoms of anxiety and depression in your loved ones and the people around you but you don't even know what it is and mm. because of that you don't even know how to help them so i think certain things like that help us not only for ourselves but for people around us we know that okay if i see i see her doing this i know that it might be this or it might be that and i might be able to help her in this way or that way it is an inspirational um session and it is an inspirational way to look at it because sometimes we feel like oh, i'm not depressed i don't have anxiety there's no need for me to watch this but you don't know who around you might have it you know as i said last week I just want to remind you of 
something we carry amongst ourselves within gfg you are your sister's keeper you are your brother's keeper you need to be aware of these things and i think it was so amazing that we could have an educational session like this because so many of us maybe the youth we know it through social media that there's this thing called anxiety there's this thing called depression but a lot of our parents didn't know and it was so great to have them joining the session with us and like katikile said sometimes you may not be the one suffering from anxiety or depression but you never know who around you is suffering from this you know and some people are generally more comfortable with other people maybe that person will feel comfortable to share with you and not with others and if you're not in a position to know that means that person may possibly be left alone so it's very important that we educate ourselves as people as the church even you know it is not good to be ignorant god does not satisfy himself in us being ignorant you know we need to keep up with the times we need to be knowledgeable we need to inform ourselves on these many different things yeah and i think part of having a christian character is knowing or asking yourself what would jesus do and we all know that jesus wouldn't turn a blind eye to someone in need you help where you can i think it's just part of being a christian and it's amazing honestly speaking it is amazing and being a child of god in its own is just amazing beyond expectations that i promise you we're going to listen to another voice note from one of our gfgs Watching God fearing generation online has been truly interesting for me and very self introspective even when different careers were the subject I intentionally mentioned the full name of GFG because I've had a revelation for myself that I continuously declare decree and claim it upon myself that I am God fearing and I am a part of a God fearing generation I study economics and in every session I placed myself inside the field and attempted to see what role I play and can play other than being just a mere human in the economy. What influence do I have or rather can have when I do complete my degree? With the session we had with Mrs. Roland Baloy a thought was planted in me on mental health when she kept on mentioning the mind in relation to building effective study skills and habits and the talking about mental health should happen and be less uncomfortable to talk about the more we talk about it only to find out that the next week anxiety and depression was a topic it was immensely discussed at length and triggering to people or uncomfortable but the conversation needed to happen i was educated in the session and with what i knew prior and watching the session the dots were being connected with great patience and kindness will i continue to relate to people we've all got our battles in conclusion god fearing generation has made me more intentional to listen to what is the conversation at the table clearing my schedule to sit down at 4 p.m. on a saturday afternoon the logging onto facebook using my mobile data commenting asking sending to the voice note answering questionnaires and that was all intentional my thinking and knowledge has broadened and already i am an out of the box thinker the sky is no longer the limit but above and beyond thank you this is such a jam packed voice note and there's so many things mm-hmm. that she mentioned but i think one thing that stands out for me the most is when she said that the sessions helped her to realize her position in the economy i think a lot of us as the youth we think i need to go to school i need to get my degree and then work but what is your position in the economy are you only working there's so much more that you can do in the economy and i think You know over the past week we had business corner airing for the first time and then I said to us like you know what in the next few months you know maximum in the next year I want to be able to put something on that business corner and advertise myself because I want to enrich my position in the economy you know I want to play a bigger role than they is just by going to school and getting a job you know so when she mentioned that it really struck out for me yeah I also got a bit from a voice note way um Personally this is how I interpreted that also in 
God's purpose. You need to know your position, what he's purposed for you. And I feel like this was more than just career guidance. I feel like it was just helping you realize your purpose and know that I'm going to serve using this industry and I'm going to be doing it to the glory of God, you know, and um, realizing your purpose in the world and your position in the world just makes all the difference and i feel like most people when they see christianity they think that oh no it's just um people worshiping this big white man and god and it's it's not like that Mm -hmm. it really isn't like that i feel like um besides god being my support my guidance my my comfort the first person i want to talk to in the morning and the last person i want to talk to at night god is just always there and Mm. there's so much trust and love we can give but then it doesn't compare to what trust and love is invested in your relationship with god and i feel like that is all portrayed in what you do on a daily basis and that's why your career choice is very important because you cannot be doing it for your bank balance Mm. It, it you cannot be doing that it's for it's to the glory of God and for those reasons you need to choose wisely that what am I serving you with Mm. what am I giving or what am I offering to you as you giving me life every single day you Mm. understand yeah I think that's that's the bit that I got from Mm. the voice notes yes very important it's very important that whatever we do it brings glory to God Mm. it serves God's purpose and I think this is definitely one of the things we should talk about you know purpose finding your purpose you know so friends you've been telling us what your favorite session was now please leave it in the comments what are the type of things that you feel you want to hear on this platform going forward leave your comments we really want to provide content that is tailor made for you Mm. so yes definitely a topic on purpose you know finding your purpose but before we move on to that we have um one of our viewers telling us what was their favorite session Mm. she says it's difficult to choose indeed as all the sessions were so informative. My favorite was the one about study strategies by Mrs. Baloy. As a student myself, I had to go back and correct some of my ways and how I utilize my time. I know, I heard the other day I was studying and even my own mom walked into the room and she's like, you know they told you that you should study with healthy snacks, you can't be eating junk <laughs> because... Um, I was I, I was actually the one hosting that and I feel like that was a weapon for my mom because now she knows that ah, you are the one who was hosting so you're the one who has to take the skills. Uh. So yes, it was very um, informative. You wouldn't know that something as little as what you're snacking on could, in, um, could indeed affect how you study. Mm. I didn't know that chocolate could affect how I study. Mm. And then I heard that dark chocolate makes it even better. And I've never really liked dark chocolate, mm. so it was a bit of a challenge. And I'm just there like, no, but all this time I've been, and I was like, oh no, I have to go back and correct everything that I was doing wrong. So I do agree with the person. There is a lot that we overlook when it comes to studying. And we wa- we ask ourselves, why is it not working? Why am I not, why is my studying not effective? Mm. And I think that session just helped us just be more informed about what we put in our study skills and what we get out as results. I think one thing I picked up from this session was keep yourself accountable for the time that you spend. Because it's so easy, I wake up in the morning and I say, today I'm going to study civil law. And I wake up and there's so many things you do during the day. You take two hours to bath. While you get dressed, you decide to use your phone. You yeah. have breakfast and somehow end up watching three episodes while having breakfast. And all these things really take up your time. So a good timetable is very essential, you know, and just keeping a log. I think one thing that I've done since the beginning, you know, since that session is every time I do something in a day, I write it down in a diary under the heading and I tick it off, you know. So in the morning, I'll set all my goals. I'll tell myself I need to study three chapters from this module and every time I complete it I take it and I write down the time that I finished it because at the end of the day you open that diary and you see okay I haven't accomplished the goals that I set for today or I've done so much more than I had anticipated to do and you you're able to you know keep yourself accountable you're able to manage your time and time management is so important guys because time management isn't only for us as students even when you work you know 
You don't want to be those people who are given deadlines and don't meet them. And you say things like, I'm sorry, I forgot, or, you know, I didn't manage my time. Time management is essential to every single person. Whether you're working, whether you're studying, whether you run a business, everything requires you to plan your time. And that is something I really took away from that session. Yeah, I feel like with time management, it's also part of growth. Um, as a child, it's okay to do whatever you want, whenever you want, because you have people managing your time for you. But as you grow, you need to take responsibility for how you spend your time and what um, comes out of it. And was it productive or was it just um, in vain, you mm. understand? So yeah, um, I think we have another voice note. Yes, yes we do. Okay, here's another voice note. Um, hello, my name is Pindu. Uh, I have benefited from our sessions, especially the most recent one, the conversation we had last week and the week before, because you know it finally felt like such a really important topic, something that is very common amongst us, especially as young people, but we've never really talked about, let alone in a, path, a platform that should be as safe as the church. We'd never really addressed it as in-depth as we did with Mercy Junior last week and the week before. So it was it was so refreshing and it was such it was such a nice thing to be able to address, you know, our struggles, especially when now our presenters, uh Cisnility was able to invite our parents and then now they could also come and see it firsthand, which made the conversation a lot less uncomfortable. That you didn't need to, you know, try and educate your parents with you know what you were going through inform them of your struggles now you had a platform and they started the conversation for you and then all you had to do is carry it on as mom and daughter or mom and son or uh dad and son um so that is that is one of the biggest the biggest things i'm so grateful for for our last session um and yeah that's just among the few things that i have benefited from from um uh our last gfg sessions thank you I think Pindu's also trying to say it was hard to choose her favorite one. But yeah, I think it did start off, like I said, with um, Christianity. There's so many things that a lot of people don't ag um, address that has to do with society and what society says about this and that. And it is an amazing thing to bring up the conversation within the church and involve your parents because instead of talking to your friend and complaining about it, like ah you know mama she's not listening to me i'm trying to explain this thing it is amazing that we could at least also invite our parents let them know that this is actually what is going on because not many um parents um wrap their they wrap their heads around the whole mental health issue they um because times have changed we all know that times have changed and to them it wasn't that much of a big deal back then and for now there's so many um mental health and it's not just black and white there's many colors in between so i am glad that that was also something that was brought up within the church yeah definitely something that we really needed to hear it was long overdue and we are so glad you know i think a lot of the voice notes that were sent they picked up on you know how important and how it, amazing it was to hear about mental health especially from the church especially from our structures and listening to it with our parents it has really been of great help because you know sometimes you want to tell your mom you want to tell your dad but you don't know how to bring up the conversation you don't know how much they know about it so you don't know are you still to explain what is anxiety what is depression or you can get into telling them exactly what your problem is and getting help and i think one of the things that stood out for me in those sessions was the, um, miss eugenia balo explaining to us how it is that you can go about to get help you know how you can look at yourself you see these symptoms and you're able to say okay now i think i need to talk to someone who can assist me to get help it is so important because so many of us overlook things you know you may be going through something you may be experiencing depression you may be experiencing anxiety and you sit there and you think maybe i'm just not happy maybe i'm just you know you overlook it and you give so many excuses as to why it is not that whereas it is and you know knowing and understanding that okay i have support from my church you know they know they understand this they're not gonna set me aside they're not gonna cast mm. me away simply because i'm struggling with this it has really been of great help mm. like it is important like i said it is important that we get as many people involved as possible and i'm gonna mention this again sometimes it's not for your personal benefit 
sometimes it's just being um, a sister's uh, keeper. keeper and mm. just checking everyone around you, making sure that everyone is okay. And you know, it also goes back to the company you keep because if you cannot help the company you keep to grow spiritually and mentally and emotionally, then what is your purpose in that person's life? So I feel like it all just comes together in a way. It all just comes together. And I have to say, like you said, a lot of people are going back to the mental health um, session. So I guess our MVP <laughs> for this whole GFG sessions is um, Mama Eugene. But um, we do thank her. Thank you so much for coming and talking to us. You can see the impact you have on our kids. And it's amazing because one person's word changed so many people's perspective and that is just a blessing and we thank you so much we have a last voice note from one of our gfc telling us about how exactly they have been impacted by these online sessions what i have learned from gfg is mainly how to maintain my spiritual life how to control it and how to how to also control myself it also taught me how to start it made me aware of uh, strategies i can use um, to learn and um, manage to educate myself and then it also it also made me aware of different kind of issues that people are facing or people are are going through that i am not going through and they also showed it also they also showed me how to be able to avoid those type of uh, uh, issues or if I mean to if I mean those kind of issues how to maintain or how to control them and yeah pretty much GFG has just made me a better person in terms of how I look at myself and how I look at other people and how also um, my uh, my spiritual life is and it also helped me a lot when it came to studying because I have improved quite a lot with this thing. Wow, I think the person mentioned a few things that I could not just leave out, so I jotted them down. Um, he went back to our position. Honestly, he actually mixed both knowing your position in the economy and your spiritual life and self-awareness. And I think that's also another topic that we should bring up. Self-awareness is an important thing because it's the foundation of everything, basically. If you don't know who you are, um, whose child you are, and what you came on earth to do then it's not gonna help anything you need self-awareness for almost everything in your life and i think it's very important and i'm very glad that he brought it up because he said he knows how to control himself now he knows what to do when certain challenges comes his way and that helps position a person because now you know how to tackle the world as it comes yeah most definitely. Um, we just like to say thank you to everyone who sent us voice notes. Please continue to send us your voice notes as we do the sessions. Answer the Google Forms because we want to use this to see where you guys are, you know, to be able to understand how we are exactly tackling the issues that we're tackling. So Katekile, that was our last voice note, you know, and we've had so many comments. I think, let me read this one comment from Carol and she says the point on career choice while in high school results in having immense pressure of choosing the right one for you. I myself suffered this pressure because I'm a curious child in every kind of interest in me. Now while in university I'm having to try and link these different interests I have in my career paths. You know it goes back to sometimes people feel we choose careers and we choose subjects when we're too young but you know when you have the right information given to you it's not as difficult yes you know it, it's a big life decision so either way it's going to be a little challenging it might be a little hard but when you're informed you know you have to keep yourself informed with all of these things it makes it a lot easier and being able to you know explore the different careers guys we have so many professionals within our church and so many of them are always saying if you want to job shadow come contact me you know you can come to work with me you can see and we have so many resources within our church and we need to be sure to utilize these resources we have so many careers as you can see most of our careers guests were from the church so utilize these see who in the church can assist you you know you're allowed to job shadow a variety of careers and choose which one is best tailored for you right i think 
I keep saying this, isn't our church just amazing? I mean, we have all of these benefits and again, it's just um, what people, some people think that now nah, being a Christian is boring and so forth, mm-hmm. guys, being a Christian is amazing. Let me tell you firsthand, being a Christian is amazing and it's even better when you have a good church and a good family and it goes back to how they always say that it takes a village to raise a child and indeed it does because not all of our parents or at least not one parent can do all of these careers and then come and tell you how each one was, you know. Um, We have to go and um, scout and look out and see what's going on and to our... um, Fortunately for us, we don't have to look very far. It's right and our noses. It's mm-hmm. right here. And yeah, you know, it's just amazing to know that you do have a good church that's going to help you. Yeah. Very true, very true. So friends, um, we were now supposed to play our Kahoot game. But because of time, we will not be playing it in the live session. You will receive a link to the Kahoot game and you will be able to play it and possibly stand a chance to win one of our wonderful GFG hampers. Now I'm just going to explain to you how the game works. So Kahoot is a Kahoot it is a platform where you can play and do quizzes. Um, we have created a quiz based on the sessions that we've had. So if you've watched this whole recap, you are totally ready to take that test. You are ready. You have done everything there is to do. So the way it works, it will be a series of multiple choice questions where you choose the correct answer or true or false. Your points are ranked by how fast you can answer the game. So don't take time. If you know this is the right answer, you are sure that I know. Don't sit there and think maybe I don't click it because your points are increased by how fast you answer it. We will be able to announce our winner by the end of the day. So the game closes by 10 p.m. tonight. So be sure to play it before then, you know, then you can win your hamper. We'll be able to contact you. So please use your real name so we can actually find you and give you your gift, you know, what you want. Uh Um, Our winner will be announced next week on our next live broadcast. And again, the prize is a surprise. You know, we cannot tell you what it is, but it's a surprise. It's, it's, it's a nice surprise. If I was you, I would be clicking to play right now. <laughs> so yeah, um, just, just have fun. And um, it's not so much of a quiz, it's more of a game. Have fun with it. Don't take it too for me. You know, just, yeah. But don't be slow either. <laughs> but yeah. Don't be slow. So friends, we really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, We'll be having more things for you in the coming weeks. This recap was not in any way a closure of our GFG sessions. We will be continuing bringing you new content. We have taken note of all the things that you suggested for us to talk about. You know, even on our Google Forms, people indicated the type of things they'd love to hear. So please tune in next week you know and don't forget to play the game by 10 p.m it's really nice you know i promise you it's not tricky it's simple things that you know you listen to this you are prepared yeah and if you're watching us for the first time today you guys can recap on all of our videos they're still available you can just go to the profile and slide down and just look for all of the gfg videos they are there they're also on youtube so you don't have to stress they are there with that said um we've come to the end of our live broadcast and thank you for watching us have a great day have a blessed weekend and we'll see you next week